everyone, welcome to episode 47 of my Doll's House Diary. Now in today's episode I'm going to be showing you how to build a chimney breast. Now I have built chimney breasts before but as part of longer My Doll's House Diary videos so I thought it might be, just be a nice idea to do a tutorial on its own. And I've actually simplified the design as well so this is a nice quick and easy piece to make. So let's get started. So I just want to start off by saying that as usual I've given a cutting list in the description box below but they really are only to be used as a guide because obviously your doll's house ceilings may be higher than mine or not as high and that would be our tallest height to the 215 millimeters. Now my ceilings actually measure 225 and I've already got the wooden flooring in place so that would add on a couple of millimetres. And then I'm leaving room for a hearth, which I like to stand underneath the chimney breast because then it's easier than sort of cutting it out around your chimney breast. And I'll be showing you how I do all of that in the next episodes. And then I like to leave a few millimetres as well, just so that we can fit it back into the room nicely. And then what happens with the gaps is they are covered by the skirting and the coving. So if your doll's house rooms are a different height to mine, so if they're not 228 millimetres in total, then I would suggest that you take your own measurement for the height. If you wanted to use the width and the depth that I'm using, then that would work fine, but it is just that height measurement that you'll need to have a think about. So width-wise, mine are going to be 150 millimetres wide, and I'm just cutting two panels to 75 millimetres wide, just because I haven't got a piece of sheet wood that's 150 millimetres wide. But if you do buy the sheet wood that's wider than 100 millimetres, then you can just use one piece. And I'll show you how to cut out a um, fireplace opening. So my overall width, 150 millimetres, six inches. And then I'm going for 30 millimetres deep. And that's just so that they're the same as the chimney breasts that I've used in my kitchen and in the study. So I want to sort of keep it uniform when you're looking in to the doll's house. OK, so let's begin the construction now. OK, so these are my two panels that I'm using for the front of the chimney breast. And if you need to cut from um, two pieces, you know, if you haven't got a single piece of sheet wood that's wide enough, then I always recommend cutting it down the middle rather than taking the width of your sheet, which is probably 100 millimetres, and then just adding a bit on. Cut it down the middle, and that makes for a more sort of sturdy piece, but also then it's easier to cut out our opening for the fire, which we're going to do now. So take, put one piece to one side like that, and then I want my leg pieces to be 30 millimetres wide, the same depth as the actual chimney breast. So I'm going to start by making a little pencil mark, 30 millimetres at the bottom of the piece there, and then 30 millimetres at the top. And join those up. I'm just placing them all just below the pencil marks there to allow for the thickness of my pencil nib. Like that. And then this will be the inside of the piece or the centre. So I want to come up by a hundred millimetres. These measurements you can decide upon yourself, so you might not want such a large opening. But again, this is uniform with what I've already got in the doll's house. And again, join that up. And then the area that I'm going to be cutting away, I always just do like a little squiggle on, just so I remove the right piece. And how I like to start is just by doing a little cut out at the corner of the section that you're removing. Now, if you had just one piece and you were doing this cut out from the one piece, you'd still do the same thing. So you'd draw your um, area here that you were to remove and then you do your little cutouts in the corners at each side. I'm just going to pop that piece back over there for now. So begin by going along the edge that's against the grain. And we always cut there first even when we're doing like a little just a little nick in the wood like this. 
just go all the way through with the point of your knife or the tip of your knife and then go down your straight edge or your edge that runs in the direction of the grain like that so then we can start cutting out so again place your rule along that first line hold on to it nice and tightly and just make a couple of light scores to begin with and then you can go in a little bit deeper. And just by cutting against the grain first, your wood is less likely to split. If you go with the grain, it's going to split all the way up, even if you have done your little mark there. And then you just cut as you normally would along that remaining line. Again, hold on to your wool nice and tightly. Like that. And you want to do that with your remaining piece. And we're now going to glue these two pieces together. So we'll apply glue along one inside edge. And then press them together so that you've got a nice flush line along the top and you can use the lines on your cutting mat to help you make sure you've got that nice straight join press them together I'm sort of holding them flat and pulling them in together at the same time and then I'm going to put a few pieces of masking tape across I'm just going to put the first piece up there and it's better to go side to side rather than just putting a piece down the join because this way you're actually pulling the pieces together and pulling the glued pieces together. Same there. And then turn over and do the same thing again. Again, just pressing that down flat onto my worktop. And then so that dries flat, just pop a piece of kitchen towel on there and then some heavy books and that can be left to dry. And here's one I made earlier. <laughs> so we're going to begin by attaching a side piece actually on top of the chimney breast piece. Now normally when I'm doing a piece of furniture this would butt up alongside the back piece. But in this instance, we're putting it so that it's hidden by the front piece. So apply glue along, along the long edge of your side piece. And I've got here to hand a couple of five by five strips that I'm going to use to butt this piece up against the front piece. Just to make sure that we've got a nice flush edge. So just sort of roughly get that into place so you're sitting right along the edge of the chimney breast front. And then bring in your piece of strip. Push it alongside that piece. And then sort of push both pieces against it so you know that the side is right along the edge. I'm just going to bring in a second piece there and pop it on the inside and then you can get a good press <laughs> and it's just handy to use things like this when you're attaching long pieces because obviously your hands aren't going to be big enough to keep hold of it all at the same time so just carefully remove your strips if you haven't stuck them into place as I have there. And then you should have that nice flush edge along the side there. I'm just going to pop those strips to one side. And you now want to bring in your top piece. And of the strips that you've got left, that's the sort of medium sized strip. And then your two smaller ones are our opening side pieces. 
but it'll be the piece that fits across the top there. So we'll apply glue to a long and a short edge of the top piece. And then pop that into place on the inside edge of the joined pieces. And again, you want it to be sitting flush at the top of what I'm calling the back and the side. So you can use your strip again to make sure that you're happy that that is right at the top, like that. And then pull that side piece in to meet it and that squares the whole thing up. And I'm just giving that all a really good press. I'm just going to have a look from the other side and make sure that that is right along the top there, which it is. Like that. And then let me just change camera position. So now I'll bring in one of the feet pieces, and that's going to sit again on the inside edge of that bottom corner there. So I'll apply glue to a long and a short edge. Again, make sure you're flush along the bottom there and along the bottom of the side piece. And then sort of pull the side piece in to meet it. And that will make sure it's all square. Like that. Come down there a little bit. Give it a good press. need to come down a little bit there. Always sort of check when you move your fingers that you haven't moved the piece out of place. If you have, you've got time to manoeuvre before the glue completely dries. So now bring in one of the opening sides. And that's going to sit along there on the inside of the sort of fire opening. So begin by applying glue along the side of the foot part. And then along a long edge of your opening side. And then pop that into place along there. So it's flush at the bottom and also flush along the line in the opening there. You can then sort of pop the foot down so you've got that nice flush bottom. Just use your finger to make sure you're flush along that inside edge. And again, give it all a good press. We're then going to come along to this side and put into position the remaining opening side. So again, just apply glue to a long edge. that into place. And I'm actually just going to bring in a shorter piece of strip wood that I can place on that inside edge there just to make sure that I am flush on there. Just put that in there and then push the piece against it and then you know you've got that flush inside edge. Just turn that around a bit so I can show you better what I'm doing there. I'm just sitting that in there and pushing the piece against it all the way along. Again, giving it a good press down. We're then going to do our remaining foot piece and that will sit on the inside edge again. Like that, again, making sure you've got flush edges. Bit of good press into place. We're now going to attach the shelf part and that's going to sit across the top of those internal side pieces. So begin again just by applying a bit of glue to the top of those sides. and then to a long and short edge of your shelf piece. And what this piece is actually doing is strengthening the chimney breast up. 
it's high enough up that it's not going to be seen from the room unless you sort of bent down and purposely looked up the chimney <laughs> and if you are planning on feeding lighting wires up through the chimney breast then you can drill holes in this piece and they can sort of go all the way up the way around so make sure it's sitting right against the top of those pieces push it down against the front piece or back piece <laughs> and against the side like that and then we can attach the final side piece so again, start by applying glue along the edges on your pieces there. A bit more at the top there. Some at the top there as well. And then to a long edge of your remaining side. And pop that into place. And this time it's easier to get it lined up if you just press it against all of those pieces. Pull the little foot part down if you need to. And then if you've got big enough hands you can just sort of get them all the way across and give it a good press. Make sure the shelf is sitting down on top of those sides. I'll give it a press across there as well. I've got quite large hands so I can get all the way across there. But if not, you might want to use some ratchet clamps, ones that you can actually adjust. And when you're placing them across, always place them where you've got a piece of wood there. Don't sort of put them in the middle of your long pieces as they may split. You can put them across the feet and across the shelf part and then across the top. And I'm not going to use any masking tape on this piece because I'm happy that it's all dried together squarely as I've been working on it. So I am just going to press this final side into place and then we have a finished chimney breast. Like so. So I'm now going to build my second one and then we'll go and try them into place in the doll's house. And there are the chimney breasts in place. So that's it for this tutorial, but I will be uploading separate videos on adding a hearth and decorating the chimney breast and also adding a fireplace surround. And then in this room, which is going to be the living room, I'm going to be making a log burner. And I've already got an electrical socket in there so I can have it lit as well. So that will be coming up on the channel as well. But for today, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Take care, bye.